Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brandon from Audio Addiction bringing you yet another reaction video. Tonight, we're going to be checking out another Capstan song, which is great. Uh, they, I just did a reaction video to uh, Betty Noir. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go watch that. But this is their newest song, uh, Heart to Heart. I did, <laughs> I did not think they were going to be releasing another song so soon. So I'm um, curious if maybe an album, a uh, surprise album is on the horizon. Who knows? Um, but I know they got a lot of new stuff cooking so very excited to delve into it as always i'm a huge capstan fan so very excited to give this one a listen and see what what has changed and comparatively to uh betty noir but let's get into uh heart to heart uh, right now interesting Nice little lead, lead solo part. Okay. Nice fill. Oh, I like the harmonies. Oh, yeah, okay. Showing the chops off. I get it. I like this groove section. Oh, the sweeps. Oh, man. That was awesome. Never going to talk about it. You don't have to try right now. Baby, let your hair fall down. Tell me what you think about it. Oh, that was sick. Shout out to the LGBTQ community. That's fucking awesome. Major ups to the homies. Gonna start crying. I can feel it. That's awesome. All right, guys, that was Cab Stan's newest song.
not that new. <laughs> well, it's pretty new. But then, like, Benton Noir just came out the other day as well, too. So back-to-back new songs, which is great. Wow, what a 180, first and foremost. You know, if you came from Benton Noir and you listen to this one, I, you are in a world of difference. Um, and I think, to me, it's, it's very... I feel like it's very appropriate for this group. You know, I, they do a great job of doing the, like, super heavy, fun, riffy, bouncy sorts of tracks. But then they do a great song like this, which is like really touching, really beautiful. Um, and, you know, I got and got a little bit of goosebumps, if I'm going to be honest. Like, I think this one is a little bit more subdued in terms of like the uh, the sound. But I think like and I mean, and I, I don't say want to say like the song is like bland by any stretch because I still think it's a very it's a very fun track, and I think comparatively to uh, Betty Noir, which is another great fun track, I think this is fun in like more of a poppy sort of like like bubblegummy kind of fun way, where I feel like Betty Noir is like fun, but in like a darker, like riffy, bouncier sort of way, which is what I explained earlier. But anyway, this song lyrically is is very cool. I love the way that the music video was shot as well too. Again. Um, just bringing a lot of light to the LGBTQ plus community is just amazing. So big ups to them uh, for doing that. Um, but as well as that, I think like the the way that the harmonies are stretched out in this song, very similarly to Bette Noir, I really enjoyed this a lot. Um, I think Anthony's got a great like mid to low range vocal stretch. I think he's got a very con- like con- convicted. I was going to say convincing, but very convicted sort of voice, like the way that he kind of says a lot of lyricism, a lot of the ways that he talks about some of the uh, lyrical topics. I, I, you can definitely feel like there's a lot of emotiveness behind it. And I think that's what I, I truly love about Capstan is that, um, you know, they really do speak from the heart in that way. And so um, I feel like with this song, it's definitely more of an emotional song and one that uh, I feel like drives a lot of the uh, love and the attention in this song. Um, I would also say that Boz adds a lot of great like textural elements, a lot of great layering, a lot of great harmonies. And you can definitely hear that a lot more specifically in the chorus of this song. I think that's where it shines the most, certainly. Um, so I absolutely love that factor of the track as well. Um, the guitar work was super sick. Um, I love uh, their lead guitar player. I think he really does a really great job of adding a lot of great like lead like lead riffs, a lot of cool solos, um, and I think it adds a lot of... A, a lot of emotion to the track as well too um so love that that's giving you a different type of energy to the track but still really satisfying in the way that it's gone about is really beautiful as well too i also feel like the rhythm guitar work the bass playing and the drumming also really play a r- really intricate role in this track as well um love the like again the more I want to say chilled out nature because I think there's definitely moments in the song where it kind of picks up more. Uh, I would definitely say in that like bridge um, portion of the song, uh, I think that's really where a lot of that sort of rhythmic session along with the rhythm guitar really pick up. um, And then obviously is accentuated by the lead guitar parts um, as well. Um, But yeah, kind of a 180 in terms of sound. Um, This is a little bit more, I would argue, in their like pop punk um like alternative side of things so um normally i gauge uh, an album or what i feel to be an album based off of the two singles and these two singles could be couldn't be more farther apart in this spectrum of music uh, which is crazy to me that those two these are the two songs they decided to release first which is fine uh, i'm not saying that they shouldn't have released these two as the front runner songs but It is kind of crazy that you can get so much range out of one band um, in two music videos. So really, really cool to see that. And I think it just makes me really excited for the whether it be a new album from Capstan or not. um, I think it really makes me excited to listen to the newest material from them because um, 
I feel like they're going to encapsulate all of the things that I love about Separate. They're going to be encapsulating everything that I love about Restless Hearts um, into one album. You have those heavy moments. You have these moments where you're going to like feel a lot of emotion and feel a lot of rawness, and this track has that emotion, has that rawness. So um, really love that and really love what Cab Stan's doing right now. Um, definitely a band if you haven't checked out yet to go give them some love because they certainly deserve it. And uh, I feel like they're severely underrated as a group. So would love to see what you think about um, Capstan. If you haven't, if this may be the first song you listen to of them, I would recommend listening to both singles just to kind of give a range. But um, if you had to pick one, I uh, might be more of a fan of Betty Noir, but uh, I think like lyrically, this one definitely hits, hits a lot of soft spots as well too, in my heart. So love that this band can have again so much of that range and so much of that power um whether it be something that's like more politically driven with Betty Noir and having something a little bit more driven in the way that you would love to see like um lgbtq plus people being more represented in music videos so i love both aspects of it both ends of the spectrum and uh i love they're bringing a sense of like honesty uh and just like openness to all of those things so really great on them and um let me know what you think about heart to heart down in the comment section below would love to know your thoughts on the track um as well as go check out Betty Noir if you haven't checked that one out as well too if you enjoyed this reaction video make sure to like comment subscribe it does go a long way and uh thank you guys for watching and i hope to catch you in the next one peace